The Harbour Bridge isn't just a critical transport link, it's also a, a national icon, it's a heritage structure, it's a tourist attraction and it's a critical link for services such as water, power, telecommunications. The Auckland Harbour Bridge was constructed in 1959. We supplemented with an additional four lanes in 1968 and the current traffic volume over the bridge in any given day is around 180,000 plus vehicles. Opus is involved in all aspects of the asset management of the Harbour Bridge. In the past, the word maintenance covered many things and wasn't really describing what we're doing. Whole of life asset management is what we're looking at and that means a far more sophisticated, accurate scientific approach to the materials and its environment over that period of time. If we do a spot, an overcoat, and keep the existing coating for as long as we can, not only will we satisfy our uh, environmental um, resource consent, we're actually well below the limits that were given to us, but also we managed to save the $65 million over 10 years. That allows us to be a bit more flexible as well as improve the environmental effects of what we're doing. We're about to place an epoxy ash felt on the extensions as a trial to see how that works. The existing surfacing has a few downsides. It's using imported ingredients and so we have to plan a lot further in advance. The surfacing that we're trialling is using local ingredients. It's got shorter curing time so the whole operation will be a lot quicker than previously. This is Cutting costs, being far more efficient in the way that we're putting it down and maintaining it, so the disruption to the traffic is going to be reduced significantly, and that's the outcome we're looking for because the customer demands for unrestricted access are ever-increasing. I feel pretty proud to be working on the bridge, uh, especially with my children in the car. Um, the children say, oh, that's daddy's bridge. That's a sense of pride in uh, what we do. Now that I'm working on the bridge, I look at it in a completely different way. It's not often I drive over the bridge and just admire the view anymore. It's just really incredible to be part of it. ensuring the continued performance of what the previous generation of New Zealanders built for New Zealand into the future.